Hi, and today's question is, I've got two eight-month-old rescue Siberian Huskies and they're shy of other people. So there could be several things going on here. They're rescue puppies, so you, without knowing what the background is here, they may have had some bad experiences with people. Obviously, at some point they've been abandoned, their home, their environment, and everything's changed and they've been sent to a rescue or to a shelter, and then now they've been rehomed and so everything's changed yet again for them. So, you know, a little bit of anxiety, uncertainty, lack of confidence could all be there. You don't know whether they were socialized or not before you got them. The other thing that could be happening is you may have some litter mate syndrome. So make sure you look, at, look up litter mate syndrome um, and train them and work with them to prevent that or overcome that if they may already have that. The other thing your dogs need is just to get out in the real world. Don't force socialization with other people. If they're shy, the last thing they need is people coming up and getting in their faces. Do it from a distance. Take them from a park. Let them watch people just go about their business 100 meters away. And then slowly close that distance. Just taking them out and walking and walking past people will begin to socialize them with people. You don't have to have people coming up and touching them and everything else. And in fact, you are much better not doing that. So the only interaction or closer interaction you want with people, if your puppies are happy, are with people that your puppies know, people that are good with dogs, keep people that know how to interact with dogs. And again, the most important thing there is only if your puppies are happy, if they're shying away even from those, keep distance. The other thing is structure. Lots of structure, dogs thrive on structure. So get the, dog into, get the dogs into obedience classes, that way they're around people and dogs and they're being occupied and being taught. So that is great for socialization because they're in a, in a situation where everybody's in the same boat, everybody's doing the same things. So their focus isn't fully on people and these other people aren't getting in their face. It's not fully on the other, fully on the other dogs and the other dogs aren't getting in their face, but they're all there all around. And that's another great way of getting socialization going without crowding the dog. And most trainers in those situations, if you've got dogs that are a little bit fearful, will allow you to step back a little bit from the rest of the people and have a bit of extra space. Hope that helps.